So again, we're just waiting for Nova Scotia Power to say it's de-energized, good to go, we'll get in and start cutting. They are local soldiers here to help their own communities. We've been trapped up there for two days and like the feeling of, you know, it, by today it was starting to feel really despairing. The main task to assist Nova Scotia Power, getting this mess out of the way so the utility can get the lights back on. And they're going to loosen up the cables because they have quite a bit of tension on them right now. So once they're finished with that, our guys will move in and uh, we'll put them to work with the saws. It's a complex operation including power crews, military personnel, forestry technicians and engineers. Talk to them, communicate with them, they'll let you know when it's safe to go in, remove the branch piles out. For the people who live on the other side, the military presence is simply overwhelming. Power is not even their main concern. There's a few people who have dialysis, there's people, you know, medications that need it and it's just that feeling of panic of like are we safe we have elderly people up there that have um with the with no ambulance or any kind of uh emergency vehicles just not they're not getting up there they live in the cape breton regional municipality where damage is widespread and more than 200 people have been displaced from their homes there is also destruction all along nova scotia's north shore this damage cutting off the entire community of Big Island. The Department of Transportation had to go knocking on this man's door. They couldn't call. They tried to call and couldn't get a hold of us. So, so just you have to drive until you find somebody. And southwest of Halifax, another tragedy. 81-year-old Larry Smith, who has dementia, is missing. It's highly likely that uh, he fell or was swept out in the water at some point if he was outside uh, his residence. Mm -hmm something no amount of help can change. But here, help is appreciated. Just the fact that we're able to be out here and helping our communities, is uh, it means the world to us. That's why we join, so. And for some, perhaps a welcome distraction from a scary situation. I like those big tanker trucks. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Glace Bay, Nova Scotia.